has this longing. Your heart is longing for God. No. Single, see, she represents also this single pointed minded devotion. No. Which uh, is surrender to the feet of Rama. So this Sita is kidnapped, you know, the same way, you know, your devotion your, uh, very often is questioned, no? When your mind, you give much importance to the mind, what happened? You know that. <laughs> so the mind portrait itself is so huge, so big, you know, like ten-headed, you know, you have your ego which is jumping without any measure. <laughs> You know, your pride is one way and so on, your doubt is another way and you see, with such mind, all the quality, the negative quality which is inside of you, suppress all the good quality which is inside of you, then you can't see. So when, uh, if you look at Sita being kidnapped, so when uh, you have devotion, then the, the mind wants to kidnap you, the mind wants to overshadow you. Because you think you are very knowledgeable. Yeah, because you think that you know everything. So with such pride inside of you, what happened? Can God reveal himself? Can the soul itself reveal itself? No, the soul will don't reveal itself just like that. The soul reveals itself when that longing becomes strong. And then you see Lakshmana standing. When that longing becomes strong, longing symbolizes us Hanuman. Hanuman is the strength, power. It's sitting there. Strength, power is there when you truly long for God. So Hanuman is sitting there. The strength and power is always with you. When you have this determination to attain something, you will have the power for it. You have the strength for it. And then what, what, what awake is your consciousness, which is Lakshmana. Lakshmana is always next to Rama. There's not a single time where he was not. So when the consciousness reveals itself, that means that Ram will reveal himself. But for that, let's see, for him to reveal himself, or your Atma to reveal itself, it is not superficial. It is not just, uh, oh, let me try this. Tomorrow, if I don't like it, I can live. Many people think like that. You know, they come on the spiritual path, they taste it, you know, whether they like it or they don't like it. Because what are they looking for? They're looking for sensation. When they get sensation, like I said, you know, everything which is new is very sensation sensational. <laughs> <laughs> So when it is very sensational, <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. No. So when it's exciting, you are very much into it. But then when it becomes routine, you distance yourself from that. It becomes become normal. But you think. You see, for a saint, which have attained that uh, state of awareness, you know, who have attained that grace of the of God Himself, for them every day is sensational. <laughs> every day is an excitement. You know, it is said that Radha, whenever she will look at Krishna, she will have the feeling that every day she met Krishna for the first time. How many of you feel like that for your beloved? 
<laughs> None of you. <laughs> so, as much as you can say, yes, you love, but yet you don't have that same feeling when you truly you fell in love firstly. So, Sita was kidnapped by Ravana. This is, if you let your mind kidnap you, then you can't be free. Then all the quality of the mind will be predominating. So even when we talk about love, we talk about the spiritual part, we talk about God, it's far away. Because your mind has been kidnapped. So when your mind is kidnapped, then Maya has full control of you. So when would that love truly awake? That love will truly awake when it is surrender. That's why you see in the life of Rama when he left, he went to look for Sita. He met great devotee of him on the way. And the devotees were waiting for him, not only in this life. You know, they waited for him many, many lives. They have attained that peak of devotion. And only one thing which was needed, the grace of God. And he came to free. He came to give himself. Many were there who recognized him. Many of them who, even being there, would not recognize him. Ravana being such a great king and knowledgeable person. Him who hold even the the, the Mount uh, the Kailash in his hand, you know, tried to kidnap Shiva. Do <laughs> you think he didn't recognize who Rama is? He knew. Actually, he was the greatest bhakt of Lord Rama. His whole meditation, his whole thoughts, his whole thinking was only Rama. You know, when you fear something to the extreme, you know, what happened? That thought is dancing in your mind continuously. You know, whatever you do, you will not be able to run away from that thought. You know, if you're scared of something. So Ravana had such bhakti. The bhakti of scared of him. So he's scared of Lord Rama to death. So because he's long for him in one way. That fear become his reality, become his joy. And see, even if he fought you know, Lord Rama, but yet he knows that he has to surrender. As much as the mind tried to fight, whether it is in one life or in many thousands of lives, it knows that they will have to surrender. Sooner or later it will happen. That's why you can't remember your past life. But those who awake into the divine consciousness, you know, those who attain that grace, they don't remember everything. And they can handle everything. It doesn't matter. Maybe in one life they were a big criminal. It doesn't matter. What matter is now. And what matter is your relationship to God. Your relationship to Him. So this is why you see always Sita standing next to Rama. Radha is always standing next to Krishna. 
Father is listening like to Shiva. This is this focus, this concentration, this longing to attain the Lord. And all of you have that longing. Because she represents Prakriti. She represents creation. She represents each one of you. And the only reality is God. That's why Prakriti is symbolized as Devi. During these nine days of Ram Navmi, you see, we say we have two Navaratri. One Navaratri, which is now, just finished today, and another Navaratri is in October, which you all come. From next year, we will be celebrating also this Navaratri. So, nine days for the Divine Mother, also during this time, followed. So, I wish you all weather is changing, drama is in time to <laughs> I wish you all happy Ram Navmi. May the grace of Lord Rama be with you and help you, you know, whatever stopping you on your way. You know, he holds us a bow and arrow. So may he put away all obstacles on your spiritual path. You know, all obstacles in your life. Above all, that he remove all obstacles which you yourself put in your mind. So that, uh, like Hanumanji, you know, give you, he give you the strength and power to come nearer and nearer. Thank you.